you know, growing up in Alexandria, and, and I tell you, Mark, I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to part of what got me into it. Yeah, you know, I just had, I had a bad experience with with the police mm. uh, that mm -hmm. truly changed changed my 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 life. Yeah, um, and I remember saying as a as a 14 year old, I, I'm 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 gonna take your job, officer, mm. and and I'm gonna show you how to deal with 14 year old black kids in the neighborhood. Wow, and I and I can re and I can remember it, and I mean I can remember the whole story, um, and and, and my, as my mind sits here and I run through the scenario, I, I I have to tell the story if, if time permits. I have to tell the story, so it can. So uh, I, I was in Alexandria at an uh, area where we hung out. It was a, a skating rink in Alexandria. Yeah, yeah. And and as a, I'm 14, right? And and, the, and I mean, the police are up and down the street. So I learned later on, that's the same thing I did, you know, in 2000, up and down the same street where I, people were. Yeah. And, and I was approached by a police officer who said, hey, there was a robbery in Old Town, and you look just like the guy that I'm looking for. Mm. Now, 14 years old, no parent call, no nothing. Yeah. The police, the police officer stands there and he says to me, he empties my pockets. I'll never forget, I had $78 in my pocket from a paycheck because I was washing dishes in Old Town. Okay. Wow. I knew I was a good kid. I, I, I knew that if you got the wrong person and yeah. this person, this officer said, to me, if you don't tell me that you did this, if you don't admit to it, I'm going to put you in the back seat with my dog. Mm. This dog was roaring. He was ready. This dog was hungry. <laughs> oh and I was looking like a good piece of meat. And, and every time I'd say it wasn't me, he would grab that door handle. And I thought, oh my goodness, I got this. He's, the dog's gonna eat me, you know. I mean, yeah. I, I want my mom. I want my dad. I need some help. And, and if you don't tell me you did it, and I know for a minute my mind was thinking, okay, so what happens if I tell you I did it? You won't put me in the car with the dog. But I knew that wasn't the right thing to do. And then another police car pulled up. Mm. He made me stand up against the wall. I could see the woman looking out the back seat of the police car and looks at me and says, "That's not him." Mm. that's when I left Alexandria and moved to Manassas. Wow. That, that was pretty much my last night, you know, hanging out in, in the inner city. So wow. sorry to go back to that story, but, but that's what, that was the beginning. That was yeah. the beginning. So all of my policing time, you, you talk about gravitating toward, you know, black people was, yeah. they, they, we did the same thing that the officer did to me pretty much. You go mm -hmm. to the areas where there are people where where there's a need for for uh, supervising communities.